Good evening and welcome to the Ogden City Council meeting of January 2nd, 2018. This is the 6 p.m. regular meeting. Please note that all council members are present. None have been asked to be excused. <laughs> I just had to say that one last time. Um, next on our agenda is public comments. This is an opportunity to address the council regarding any concerns or ideas on any topic. Please state your name. My name is Gary Schlottman. I live at 2726 Quincy Avenue in Ogden, Utah. The last time I stood before you, I really wasn't prepared with a lot of notes. So I went out and sipped into the public and got comments. And so I basically want to go what I found out with you. Okay. Basically, the majority of the people in Ogden City did not know that the chicken ordinance had passed. Okay. Out of those who had known about it, I had 84 who didn't know. The rest knew about it. And out of them, uh, the 84, they was pretty adamant about accountability. Accountability seemed to be the big issue as to, on the chickens. The, the other thing is licensing of the coops. If you don't license the chickens, at least license the coops. So accountability will be put on the, on the, the inspectors for Ogden City to make sure that they're staying up to standards. Second on that there is when they put the coops in, you have a, a first time inspection and you've got certain boundaries and restrictions that have to be met what stops them from doing that, and then all of a sudden pushing them back up against their fence or over in the corner. I say that that chicken coop should be put on a cement pad for, them, for the simple reason this keeps animals from not being underneath them. It keeps the score of the raccoons out. It keeps the skunks out. It stops the rats, mice, and what else from making homes underneath it. So if it's on a cement pad, it can be easily cleaned. Okay? Then the fourth thing on it that they wanted to know is who do we call? Who do we call to get a complaint taken care of? The one lady says, I've called animal control. They say it's not their problem. She called building inspections, and they said it's not their problem. Okay? So basically, it's accountability. Everybody wants accountability for, their, for it. Then um, a couple, one lady said to me quickly, uh, I'd like to keep my mini, miniature horses in Ogden. They're no bigger than a, a greyhound dog. What's, why can't I keep my miniature horses? They ran me off of my place up by the mouth of Ogden Canyon. I had to close up and move up to Huntsville. I'm sure you all remember no blue ribbon stables. Okay. The next lady, <laughs> I don't even want to read this. She says, I want to keep monkeys in Ogden because I think it's a three-ring circus. <laughs> and I says, let's don't go there. Okay? So I just hope that, oh, the last item on it is how does the public get to know what's going on in these meetings? One lady says, I don't have the computer, and I don't want to take the standard exam. She says, uh, I watch a little TV. I says, watch Channel 17. I'd like to see Channel 17, at least a week before, put out an agenda for the meeting for the following week so that people can see what's going to be happening here and that they can basically come down and be part of this. As you can see, last time we was here, this place was fully packed. Look at who's here this time. All right, I think, is that, is it, yeah, your time is up. Thank I you. thank you for your time. I congratulate you on your new appointment. Have a good time with us because we're going to have a real good year. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Gary. Please. Anyway. 
My name is David Tim, and I live here on, in Ogden on Quincy Avenue. And you know, I, one of my biggest fears is you know I handle and work with a lot of service animals, and you know just walking around in a neighborhood with my service animal, I'm still attacked or barked at by dogs. And you know, if you can't enforce your dog laws and stuff you have in place, what are you going to do with the chickens? I mean, you people weren't thinking any farther than the end of your nose and how many votes those chicken people were going to give you the next time around. And not considering, I've already, we have chickens living on our street that have been living on our street for eight years. And I know for a fact that they've been called in and reported, but nobody's ever done anything to them. And now they can legally have them. So, you know, like Gary said, enforcement has to come with this in a very large way. And just for example, you guys, all the prices of homes are going up in Ogden. Everybody wants to move to Ogden. I don't want to move into Ogden and spend $200,000 on a home with a chicken coop right next to me. So when I go out in the evening in the summertime, sit out there and smell the chicken crap, think about it. Maybe they'll move into your backyard. You wait. Even if you live on the other side of Harrison, move right in beside you when you're out there having your hamburgers. Oh, that smells great. That's part of the enforcement. It has to be taken care of. And I thank you. Thank you, David. <clears throat> um, Mayor or Mark, will you just address um, who would they call um, if they did have a question? You've been working on that. You know, I'm, <clears throat> this is such a new ordinance, and we had the week. I don't know that we've really figured all that out yet, but I will be figuring out tomorrow and then we'll make sure we put it on the website. Animal control would be the first point of contact with that. And so uh, we'll, we'll work on that. We took notes on everything you said. We appreciate your comments. All right. Any other comments? Mark, do your daughters want to come up? No more comments from you? No, nope, I think. <clears throat> what about the concern where if you don't have a computer, can you still get the agenda for our meetings on what happens on the meetings that transpire here? The agendas are posted at the library. Okay. So they could see them. They're posted there every Friday. Oh, no, not anymore. We don't have a library. That's right, we don't have a library now. When we get the library back, we'll post them there. We do post them in this building. Uh, on Friday afternoons. We post it in the uh, Golden Hour Center? We don't. We could. Just wondered. Also, probably by email. Do we have uh, is agendas go out by email? <coughs> they have to sign up, though. No. What about in this building? Do we have our agenda posted in this no, building? Sir. Okay. Good question. I like the uh, the idea of posting it on Channel 17, though, um, when it's available. That might be something to look at, see if there's a way to do that. All right. Good comment. Um, up at, uh, next on our agenda is new business um, and the election of council chair. So at this point, I would like to open nominations up for council chair. Any nominations? I'd like to nominate Rich Heyer. And I will nominate uh, Marsha White. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I laugh for other reasons. Thank you. Okay. Other nominations? Um, if you don't mind, let, I know that uh, in order, a second nominated candidate, um, let, let, I, I really appreciate the nomination. Um, however, I, I have spent um, the last two years as chair, and the, the year prior to that as vice chair, and it, it's time to let go of uh, leadership. And so I, I appreciate it. I have had uh, a lot of fun leading everyone, and... Um, um, 
just it's 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 time for me to to uh, leave, leave this center spot. So I appreciate the the nomination and uh, and thank you. Okay. So please now, would you do your uh, comments? Are the nominations over? I was looking around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I'm honored to be nominated, and uh, after serving a year with uh, Chair White, uh, she has performed uh, very well as chair. She's been uh, very responsive to uh, comments that other council members have had to help her to be. To, to be more, you know, more more outreach, etc. Uh, she has been focused on on a lot of things, and and I it was is not my desire to to put any of those things to to rest. Um, it is it is my desire as to serve as chair to be a representative of the of the will of the council, and it's my hope that if there are things that are noticed or comments or uh, concerns that any of you would have that that you would bring them forward and that they would get a place um, to be aired to make sure that that you know that they get uh, they get the attention that is due that's important to that that is that's kind of my whole uh, platform if you will to make sure that that our council uh, gets gets heard and that we can bring our messages uh, to uh, 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 some unity find where the where the unity will be and and to uh, and move forward with with those items that's all <laughs> so um, <clears throat> Ready for a motion yeah with that, I will go ahead and make a motion that we approve council member hire to serve as council chair. We were that far, right? Yes. To serve as council chair for 2018. I second it. Um, sorry, I was just making sure that I had that right. Um, we have a motion by council member um, Blair, second by council member Stevens to uh, approve. Um, Richard Heyer as the council chair for 2018. This is a roll call vote. Councilmember Blair? Aye. Councilmember Schoberka? Councilmember Heyer? Aye. Councilmember Lopez? Aye. Councilmember Dalski? Aye. Councilmember Stevens? Aye. Councilmember White? Aye. That passes. Thank you all. I appreciate uh, I appreciate the confidence. Thank you all. And uh, the words I uttered were not hollow. Please give me all the input that you think is important that I have. So, and thank you, Chair White, for the year that you have have spent. Um, there are lots and lots and lots of hours and extra things that that you attend as as a chair that I maybe even the other council members don't even know at all. So. Um, I, I, I don't know if you've ever done the math, but probably at least probably. double the amount of time. Uh, so thank you for the service that you've you put forth the last uh, three years in, in leadership. And uh, this will give you a little bit of a rest. But yeah, don't I, worry. I, I hope you'll still stay engaged. I, I rely a lot on your input. I learned a long time ago that uh, my wife, uh, being a female, uh, sees things differently than I do. And, and I'm, I'm happy that uh, Angela's here. Uh, you know, the perspectives that we have is, is they're all good. And, and if we miss some of them, we're gonna be, uh, it, it, it costs us. So please bring your points of view to the front. That won't be hard. Okay. <laughs> Next on the agenda is the election of vice chair, um, <clears throat> council vice chair. Um, we're open to nominations. Chair White, I would like to uh, nominate uh, council member Nadolski to serve as uh, vice chair for uh, the year 2018. Other nominations? 
I nominate Bart Blair. All right. Um, Council Member Nadolski. Uh, thank you, Chair White. Uh, first, thank you for your time spent in your service in the position of leadership. Uh, Council Member Heyer said there are lots and lots and lots of hours. Um, I'm here to tell you there are lots and lots and lots of fun things to do in Ogden that you now get to do. Yeah. Extra, Extra time. time. So, yeah, so thank you for doing that. Um, uh, thank you for the nomination, Council Member Lopez. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm often reminded of the progress we have made as a council. Uh, I, I wasn't here, obviously, before my time here, but I've heard lots of stories. And I think that there is many, many stories and lessons of growth throughout the years. And I think that uh, this, can, this council continues to grow, that the um, leadership that uh, you, Chair White, and others have provided have allowed for that growth to happen. And I see the opportunity as uh, an opportunity to represent the council, not to uh, consolidate any kind of uh, power or authority, but to to create uh, opportunities for more communication moving forward and for uh, this council to, to continue to collaborate and to be communicative as we do this because <clears throat> doing so allows us to set aside politics and focus on progress. So that is my intent. Would you like to hear from me? Yes, please. Well, first of all, thank you, Council Member uh, Stevens, for surprising me and nominating me. Um, I appreciate that. Um, I would first just like to lend my support to Councilmember Nadolski. Um, I think he has made great strides as a council member and I think he would do very well serving in this capacity and, and I would like to throw all of my support behind Councilmember Nadolski. I think um, he and, and New chair hire, sorry, um, would be it would be a wonderful team, and I'm, it's a team I'd be happy to work under. So, I I, I appreciate your confidence in me, but I, I believe that Councilmember Nadolski would, would would serve better there. Chair White, uh, is it appropriate to uh, make a uh, yes, nomination now or to make a motion? So I'd like to, uh, in lieu of the. Uh, uh, Councilmember uh, Blair declining. I'd like to make a nomination or a motion to select Council Vice Chair, um, select as Council Vice Chair, Councilmember Nadolski. I'd second that. Uh, second. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Urge and force, probably, for that too. Um, I'll give that. Um, we have a motion by Councilmember Lopez to approve. Uh, Council Member Nadolski to serve as uh, Council Vice Chair for 2018, um, the second by Vice Chair Heyer. Uh, this is a roll call vote. Council Member Choberka? Aye. Council Member Heyer? Aye. Council Member Lopez? Aye. Council Member Nadolski? Aye. Council Member Stevens? Aye. Council Member White? Aye. Council Member Blair? Aye. All right, congratulations. <laughs> All right, next on the agenda is the administration of oath of office for both council chair and vice chair. And I, I wasn't, I, I, I was waiting, I, it was hard to hear my name in that. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to listen again. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I didn't have to worry. I don't know where it's gonna be now. Vice Chair, please stand, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend. I will support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. The Utah. That I will discharge the duties. Of my office with fidelity. Congratulations.
I'll just uh, finish the agenda. Um, <laughs> comments from the mayor. Congratulations to Chair Heyer and Vice Chair Nadalski. I think you guys will serve well, and I look forward to working with you. And then a huge uh, debt of gratitude to Marsha White for your three years in leadership. You're all correct that it does take a whole different workload. Appreciate your willingness to do that, and I think you've served the position extremely well, so we appreciate your service. Council members. Chair White, I would like to actually thank uh, Gary for uh, last time when we were here debating uh, the issue of chickens. Uh, I know he was one of the few, if not only or two people, but definitely one of the few that stood up and spoke against the ordinance. And I wanted to thank him last time for doing that, and I didn't get a chance to, so I'm glad that he came back. And I just wanted to say thank you for for showing up and for expressing your opinions. And, and I hope that someone from our council staff might be able to follow up with him on uh, his concerns about accessing the, uh, the agenda. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Are we a comment to doubt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking for myself, yes. Yes. Well, thank you, um, everyone, for uh, sticking it out with us. And uh, I appreciate everyone's uh, willingness to, to uh, be here tonight and to, uh, like they said, or like I think you said, um, put your hat in the ring. Somebody said that. Mayor, maybe you. You know, we ought to do one thing first, though it seems appropriate that this is Brittany's last meeting with us. We ought to do something to, I don't know, what, what, what can we do for her? We can do this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's Amy Sue. Yeah. <laughs> Amy Sue can get it. Um, with that. Well, I, I think she's done a great job and I appreciate the, the effort. She's always there to help us and to assist wherever needed and, and I believe that um, wherever she goes she'll be successful in what she's doing. It's a great opportunity and, and uh, I hope that it's the opportunity that will be beneficial for you. Well said. Agreed. Yep. I still have your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Motion uh, to adjourn. Second. Motion by Council Member Lopez and uh, second by Vice Chair slash Chair Hire. Um, this is a voice vote. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. That's a wrap for this. First one of the year.